Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Go Ham Gear. Today, we are going to be doing surgery on the Overkill PC. This is the computer that I use for live streams, for doing mod videos, or just playing video games. And because this is the computer that I use to play in video games, I may be out of storage. I already have one of these. I don't even know what this is anymore. It's been so long since I ordered this. This is the uh, uh, WD Black SSD, actually M.2, uh, and it's falling down. So we're gonna put another one in it. There's a one terabyte. I've already got one of these in, but we need to do another one. I actually have three different drives for M.2 in there with heat sinks and everything, but we need to get this in here. I've had this probably a month and a half. I just keep putting off putting it in. So today, we're gonna put it in here. This bad boy has a water-cooled i9 10900K. It has an RTX 3090, 128 gigs of RAM at 3200 speed. as a 1000 watt platinum G power supply, the G2 from EVGA. Actually, there's a lot of EVGA in here. Um, this is at one heck of a computer. Runs warm while well, the computer's hot, but every, all the components are nice and cool because we have tons of cooling all over this thing. But today, Let's open it up. All right, here we are inside the beast. This thing has all the goodies. We're running all the RAMs and the buttons and the, man, this computer has too much stuff. One thing before we pull it out, I am gonna run an air duster over everything. Just kind of give, just kind of loosen up any dust that might just be hanging out, anything like that. Keep it pretty clean and it's staying pretty clean, which I am all down for. Unfortunately, we need to get like back in here behind where the graphics card is. Meaning, I gotta pull this graphics card out. And this is the biggest graphics card <laughs> that you can get a hold of right now. This is the EVGA GeForce RTX 3090. Come on, get out of there. The RTX 3090 for the Win 3. Um, they make bigger ones, they make better ones, but they don't make them much better than this. This is pretty, <laughs> this thing's pretty, Beefy. So there's a couple things we need to do. It is a uh, triple slot, double slot. Yeah, it's only double slot in the back, which is good. So there's only a couple things that we need to take off, but we've still got a couple things to do. Unfortunately, I don't uh, have my sponsor for my fix it yet. So we're just gonna have to make do with what we have. So we've got that freed up, nice. Now, what I'm gonna do is I've gotta actually get a screwdriver and get down in there and pop a little tab. I don't recommend that you do it, but uh, you know, if it works, it works, right? There we go. Tab is popped. We'll kind of grab this. Give her just a little wiggle. And it will come right out. Yeah. Yeah, that's all right with me. Let's put this down so we don't break it. And honestly, that's kind of the hard part. That's, <laughs> that's most of the work done. All we need to do is get in here and get this... A uh, heat plate off this uh, heat distribution plate. There are a couple pieces. I don't know if it's just one piece here because I've only populated the top one. Generally, if you are populating things on your motherboard, you will want to start with the top and work your way down. So that's exactly what we did. We also need to make sure that our screws go back in the right spot. Now with this pull off there? No, it won't. So we're going to have to pull this entire piece off. That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I did notice that the riser for the GPU was kind of getting in the way getting in here. It is wired in because it's an RGB. However, for this, we do need to remove it at least to get, oh, I dropped a screw. I see it. I see it. Don't freak out, DJ. Don't freak out. Got it. One thing that I always tell like channel members and guys like that when we're working on computers like this is to remember, I might be a professional YouTuber, but professional computer builder, not so much. I kind of wing it and do things the fun way, and that's the best way. No, it's not. Doing things the right way is the best way. Don't listen to what I say, kids. <laughs> Nonetheless, we have, a, we have a lot of fun. There we go. Last piece, it should come off now. All right, here this piece comes. I have not removed this before. Oh, okay, so it's just that part. Oh, well that works for me, that works just fine. All right, now let's get into here because actually I haven't opened this yet. 
Let's see if I can use my fingernails. Eh, that ain't gonna work. Nothing a pocket knife can't fix. Let's get this opened up and we'll go ahead and get our SSD out. Now this is one of the best ones, at least that I've been able to find from Western Digital, at least when it comes to the market for consumers. Now, of course, you can always get something better and a lot of people will say, go Samsung, go Samsung. To be honest with you, I didn't go Samsung because everybody else does. So I decided to be different because I always have to be different. And here she is looking good, rocking and rolling. I'll take it. All right, so a couple things that we need to do before we install this. Let's go ahead and set this to the side. We have got some film in here on our heat sink. So we will go ahead and take that off. It's already gotten kind of warm in there. That's not good. And we have another screw to take out in here. This is going to be the retention. If you might be able to see in there, it's going to be the retention for our M.2 drive. There we go. Should fit perfectly right there. Sometimes these can be a little bit of a booger when it comes to getting them in there. So we're going to go in at an angle. I don't know what the angle is. Some say 45 degree. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Uh, and actually, it's working perfect. It's in. And looks like we're going to be perfect. Yes. All right. So let's get the smallest screw in the world. Try not to mess with anything. I'd love to have a cameraman right now. That would make this job way easier. But unfortunately, we don't have the budget for that. Not yet, anyway. Hey, formal pickle, get to, come down to North, North Carolina. Let's get you in here and get you to be a cameraman. All right, that is on. Now, we have some more heat sinks on the back of this, so we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to pull off the plastic, I see, I believe. There we go, to the top one. So now that's there. It's a little sticky, but it's all right. We'll place that back in, put it back down on an angle. And there we go, perfect. Now we gotta do is put the screws back in. Now one thing that probably doesn't need to be said, but I think probably should at least here this first time around is, if you don't know what you're doing, make sure you follow the guidelines laid out in your owner's manuals or anything like that, because that's gonna show you exactly your tolerances and things like that that you need, and even which M.2s to use for what. For us, this is just storage. I don't have any hard drives. All that's in here now is two terabytes of M.2 SSD. So, one part's down, <laughs> let's get the riser in, then GPU, and then we're kind of done. Actually, you know what? While we've got this here, let's clean it off a little bit more. Now that that's all over with, let's put in this bad boy right here. Go easy with it. Easy, DJ. Oh boy. Are we going to be able to get it in here? I mean, yes, we will. I'm going to put my head in here. I'm so sorry. How's the back of my head look? Is it good? Am I losing hair? I hope not. Let's get this put in. All I need to do is get it to go down and then snap. That sounded like a slot. So it's slotted, but it hasn't snapped yet. We need to get it a little click. Oh, did we get it? We got it. Okay. Now is just the power cables. Now these are... The power cables came with it. I don't have extensions, anything like that. These are just normal everyday power cables that come with this power supply. Now this power supply is a fully modular power supply, which is nice, it's real nice. You know what, I'm gonna sit down. This, this is real hard. <laughs> uh, the only thing is some of these power supply, or these power plugs, they're like, I don't know, you can see this. They're like three and then one. It's a little bit annoying especially if we're doing stuff like this, where I don't need that one. Now that stems from power supply or um, graphics cards that need six instead of eight. There we go. This one, <laughs> this one needs 24. <laughs> eight plus eight plus eight, 24 uh, different plugs for doing power into this thing. And, it's, it is a haul, so it uses every bit of it. There we go. Pretty much, it's done. So if the question is how easy is it to work on your own computer, it's not that hard. 
built the whole thing from scratch. Built it actually with channel members back in 2020, last year, uh, late summer, something like that. We had a lot of fun. Hopefully we're able to do something like that again, but we won't be building any more computers until I move. Those of you that may know, I'm currently living in a home in the mountains and I'm gonna be moving down closer towards Piedmont near my family, but that's gonna be in the summer. So we got a little bit of time, but we'll do another computer build once we move. Very excited about that. Can you work on this? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Just don't mess anything up. There you go. Well, that all being said, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. If you've got any questions or anything you'd like to see me do in a future video, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say down there. That being said, hope you have a good one. We'll see you later. Peace.